Hello traders, FS Piccoletti here. Today is Monday, September 23rd, and this is my analysis of the SPX 500, or the S&P 500, starting on the weekly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame. So on the weekly, I still think this is a wave one, a wave two, and a wave three. My minimum target for this wave three is above the 161.8, right around the 5,900, $6,000 area. Eventually, it's gonna have to make a wave four and a wave five, but I think we're a long ways away from having to worry about the wave four. So going down to the daily time frame, we have the end of a question down here. Very impulsive, very corrective. It's probably a pretty good chance this is a wave one, a wave two, and a wave three. Maybe it's a one, two, three of wave five, but either way, it looks like a one, two, three. We are at a Fibonacci level on the daily. Maybe that's going to be an area of resistance. Maybe a pullback will happen there. If it does happen there, that's actually great news for us because that should give us an opportunity to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. So going down to the four hour time frame, if it breaks to the downside, then it's probably going to be the beginning of a little bit of a crutching, but I wouldn't expect it to be that big of a crutch and especially if this really is a wave three wave three is supposed to be big strong trends so i would definitely not really be looking for sorts even if it does go down it might just break starts and reject structure and just continue the uptrend so i would definitely highly be focused on looking for longs at the end of pullbacks going down to the one hour time frame like i was just saying we are at a fibonacci level it does seem like a pretty likely area for a possible pullback i definitely wouldn't count on that and honestly it looks like one two three ways down right here if it goes down and starts breaking some structure then yeah maybe it will tell us that it's going down in a more significant way but the trend is up on all the higher time frames and the trend is definitely your friend and i have a target of at least fifty nine hundred dollars so i definitely would be looking for longs at the end of every single pullback i see so don't forget to join my free discord channel with the link down here in the corner and as always thank you and happy trading